alcohol. Many of us turn to it throughout our lives to make things a little more fun or a little more bearable. Sure, the answer to life isn't in a bottle, but for some people, things seem to go a little bit better when they have some liquid courage by their side. This is no more evident than in the world of acting. While you shouldn't really drink on the job, these actors show that some roles just needed a little extra help in order to get it done. Nev Campbell and Denise Richards Released in 1998, the movie Wild Things is generally considered by critics to be a pretty bad movie. Audiences didn't really care because the film featured some steamy pool makeouts and three-way sex scenes with a cast that included Denise Richards and Nev Campbell. According to Campbell and Richards, there was another uncredited cast member helping them get through these scenes, alcohol. Before shooting, the two said they enjoyed a pitcher of margaritas to help calm any nerves that might have been present. Billy Bob Thornton some actors really get into their roles, and Billy Bob Thornton is no exception. In the 2003 film Bad Santa, Thornton plays a con man who aims to rob stores on Christmas Eve. His character looks dirty, haggard, and in many scenes, drunk. Was it good acting and makeup that made this possible? Partly. In interviews afterwards, the American-born actor admitted that he got completely into character by being more than sort of drunk. Martin Sheen Apocalypse Now is considered a classic of the big screen. Full of big name stars, the movie was almost a complete train wreck, but that's another story. The movie is full of iconic and memorable scenes, including the introductory montage to Martin Sheen's character, Captain Benjamin Willard. It turns out Sheen was quite drunk during this shoot, and the director just let the cameras roll while he moved about the room. The strange movements, punching the mirror, and cutting up his hand were all real and fueled by a considerable amount of alcohol. Fred Astaire. When it comes to legends of the big screen, especially those with a knack for dancing, there is no one bigger than Fred Astaire. You'd figure all those intricate dance moves and coordination require a stone sober mind. Apparently not. In the 1942 classic Holiday Inn, Astaire reportedly did a number of shots during a shoot for the aptly named drunk dance scene. After several takes, the legend had reportedly consumed several drinks of bourbon. Depressingly, even after all the booze, he was still a better dancer than any of us could ever dream of being. Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman the dark, mysterious, and apparently deadly competitive world of ballet dancing. That pretty much sums up the 2010 film Black Swan. Oh yes, and there's the sex scene between Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman. Considered to be one of the steamiest lesbian scenes ever shot, some people were left wondering how the actors were able to do it. Rumors have it that a little tequila helped remove any nerves. Kunis and Portman deny this, but there are witnesses who were on set that swear a little alcohol helped calm everybody down. Jennifer Lawrence being an actor can see you take on some very challenging roles, but it also has a fair share of downtime as you sit and wait for your next scene to arrive. As Jennifer Lawrence found out, alcohol isn't just for making scenes go by a little smoother, but also for making long stretches of waiting around a little more bearable. While shooting The Hunger Games Catching Fire, J-Law would pass time by downing pina coladas in her trailer. Given that she completed the movie, we guess she didn't get too drunk in the process. Julie Andrews when you think of drunk actors, Julie Andrews is one that probably does not jump to mind straight away. While trying to escape Nazis would be enough to make anyone drink, Andrews turned to the bottle for a different reason in 1965's The Sound of Music. Apparently, she had a great deal of trouble trying to sing and play instruments at the same time. To help out, she turned to schnapps to relax and successfully perform the scene for Do Re Mi. It may also explain why she is so happy throughout much of the film. Shia LaBeouf Although he's often been in the news for all the wrong reasons and his behavior is more than a little strange at times, you can't say that Shia LaBeouf doesn't get into his acting roles. For the 2012 film Lawless, the 29-year-old played a bootlegger involved in the moonshine trade. To fit the role, LaBeouf made sure he got rip-roaring drunk off moonshine. Committed acting? More than a few people think it was just a convenient excuse to get drunk on the job. Anna Kendrick when you're in a movie titled Drinking Buddies, you have to figure alcohol is in some way involved. According to the cast of the 2013 film, they didn't quite understand just how much beer would be involved. Since the film is based around a craft brewery, what better way to immerse yourself in that than the world of beer?
In fact, Anna Kendrick told reporters that in the scene where she is playing cards every time she lost and had to drink, the beverage was actual beer. Needless to say, by the end of the shoot, she was actually drunk. Margot Robbie the Wolf of Wall Street is a film about excess everything. Drugs, money, even the F word is dropped a record number of times. In such a movie, you'd naturally expect a racy sex scene or two, and you'd be right. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Australian actress Margot Robbie, the film sees the two engage in a notable sex scene that required a little preparation. In preparation for the scene, Robbie was more than a little nervous. To make sure she was ready for when director Martin Scorsese yelled, action, the 25-year-old downed three shots of tequila. We figure it might.